Hello and welcome to the promised, I think I promised it, I meant to, channel update with my upload schedule for all three of my existing channels. Three, right? I have three? Yes. Um, so I'm going to be uploading this to all three uh, channels as just one complete video that explains all of them. If you're only interested in the channel that you're on, then please just uh, skip to, I'll put the timestamps on the screen and just skip to the point where I start talking about the channel you're interested in. Each one will be on a blank um, calendar on the screen for you. And I'm only going to be going through February schedule, but basically it's going to continue until... Um, the, the, the same schedule will continue until series start finishing, basically, until I'm, I'm, I'm actually finishing games. So it, you can project it forward as much as you want. So we'll start on Ibeza Plays Games. Now, Ibeza Plays Games is going to have two videos a day, hopefully. <laughs> this is the intended schedule, by the way. Let me just say, this is the intended schedule. So um, if, if, if I do miss some videos, then... It, you know, so be it. That's that's almost not going to be able to be helped. But the this is the schedule I'm aiming to stick to. Okay, so two videos a day on your base plays games. One of them is going to be a rotation of four games, but it's not going to be even. Okay, every other day I'm going to be playing Pokemon Shield on the on the channel. Um, and these videos are going up at six p.m. By the way. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be playing Pokemon Shield at 6pm every other day, starting on... Oh, by the way, yeah, the, the this whole schedule starts on the 8th, Saturday the 8th of February. It's supposed to start on the 1st uh, today, or yesterday, depending on when I actually managed to get this video up. But um, I just wasn't ready, so I, I gave myself another week instead of stressing myself out. Um, so it's going to be starting on the 8th. Uh, Sword and Shield, or Let's Play Shield, is actually going to start on the 9th. Um, just because that's how I've got it laid out, where, where there'll be a different video on the 8th at 6pm. So yeah, every other day, Pokemon Shield. In between those, there's going to be three different series rotating. Uh, so they should all appear basically at least weekly. Um until until Sword and Shield is done, and then I'll I'll reposition it all. So the three series are gonna be Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, which I've still not finished, uh, WWE 2K20, and Hitman 2. Again, both of which I've still not finished. So uh, on the eighth it'll be Let's Go Eevee, and then on the tenth it'll be uh, 2K20, and then on the twelfth it'll be Hitman, and then on the fourteenth it'll be back to Let's Go Eevee, and so on and so on and so on and so on. So that's the six pm, nice and simple. Every other day, so Pokemon Shield, and then on a rotating uh, schedule, Let's Go Eevee, WWE 2K20, and um, Hitman 2. Now, the other time slot is going to be 2pm, and that will go as follows. Saturdays, it's basically what you're used to. I just want to have it spelt out so people are able to actually see the schedule for themselves. So, uh, uh, Saturdays, it'll be GTA 5 Let's Plat. Not a typo. It's a Let's Plat. We're going to get the Platinum Trophy. Uh, on Sundays and Thursdays, it's going to be P South Park The Stick of Truth Let's Plat. Uh, I don't know why that one ended up on twice a week, but it did. That's just how it is. On Mondays, which are always going to be known as Poke Mondays, as uh, hopefully, as long as I do YouTube, even though I've got my own Pokemon channel, I'm hoping I'll always upload Pokemon on Monday on Ibeza Plays Games, because I like the name P Poke Mondays, and Pokemon's like probably my main jam, so I, I, I like that I include it on both channels that it's relevant to. So hopefully I'll always have something on Pokemon Day. So on Pokemon Days, it's going to be Pokemon Platinum Blind Let's Play. I've never played the game before, don't know anything about it, so I'm playing through it for the first time. On Tuesdays, it'll be Resident Evil 7 Let's Plat in VR on PS4. So uh, a lot of people seem to like that, so that'll continue to be on Tuesdays. On Wednesdays, it'll be Pokemon Yellow. Uh, Nuzlocke, sorry, it'll be my Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke, and uh, that'll continue literally until I either beat the game or lose the Nuzlocke. Uh, that is a series that could end before the end of the game. And I've already covered Thursdays, is South Park Stick of Truth, and on Fridays will be basically my online or multiplayer funny moments uh, kind of videos, because 
I enjoy making those. They're a lot of editing sometimes, but they are a lot of fun. They've historically done quite well on the channel. I think people quite like them. And I, it is fundamentally more fun to play a game with someone than just on your own. So that's another reason. It's just the actual creation of the videos, the actual recording is a lot of fun. So that's that should be the entire schedule filled in on your screen now, the entire calendar page for February. And then on March, so when we get to the 29th, which is Saturday... Um, because we do have a 29th this year on February, uh, that'll still be GTA, it will be Shield, um, and then Sunday it'll just roll over, it'll still be South Park Stick of Truth, and it'll roll over to I believe Hitman 2 on Sunday the 1st of March, so it'll just continue basically until series are finished, and then I d I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do when series finish yet, I, I might lower the schedule as in just not replace them, just leave a blank space on my schedule, um, so that I can lower my workload. The alternative is to try and fill it in with something else that needs finishing because that way it gets more things finished quicker and re long term reduces my schedule a lot quicker. You know, short term it doesn't reduce my schedule at all, but long term it reduces the schedule a lot more, a lot quicker. So uh, I'm not sure between those two. We'll cross that bridge when, it come, when we come to it. Now, up next, we're going to cover Pokebazer. I'm just going to go in alphabetical order. Um, Ibaze plays games first, Pokebazer second, and WWE Bazer third and last but not least. So on Pokebazer, uh, right, weekends. Weekends are going to be Pokemon Red and Blue, two games, one controller, randomised Nuzlocke. Uh, for as long as, again, it takes, like, well, I say again, if you're watching the whole video, you'll have just heard me say this about Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke on Ibez Blaze games. If not, uh, this, this series will run until I beat both games, or until I lose in one of them, basically. Uh, that's, that's how that series is working on Pokebazer. Then, during the week, I'm gonna alternate, I'm, every other day, I'm gonna have Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke. So uh, that'll alternate, but only on weekdays. So that'll start on Tuesday the 11th of February. Um, and then obviously go to the 13th. But then it won't go to the 15th because that's weekend. So that's red and blue. So the next one will be the 17th. Um, wait, have I done this right? No, it won't be the 17th purely because I actually have a special video planned on the 14th. So yeah, sorry, my bad. So on the 14th, we have a special video, which means on the 18th, we'll have Sword and Shield, uh, Pokemon Sword and Nuzlocke. On the 20th, we'll have Sword and Nuzlocke. Then it won't be the 22nd, because that's a weekday, but it will be on the 24th. So you can see on that week, it's a little bit better. The next week, the next but one weekday after Thursday, the 20th, is Monday the 24th, and then Wednesday the 26th, and then Friday the 28th, and so on, and that'll continue on into March and beyond, assuming I don't lose the Nuzlocke, like, again, these Nuzlocke's are all in the same situation that the Fragile, if I lose them, I lose them, the end, you know, I don't have to complete the game. Uh, what's going to be alternating in between those, because that, that's every other day, so the days in between is going to be two series that are alternating, and that's going to be the Pokemon Sun Wonderlock, the first series that started on the channel, and the Pokemon Blue Japanese version uh, playthrough where I just test myself to see how well I know Pokemon Blue because I can't understand any of the text. So it's it's been fairly simple so far. I think once I get to slightly high levels and I've got like moves to consider whether I'm going to learn them or not and I, I don't know what the move is, that's when it's going to start getting really interesting, I think. So uh, yeah, stay tuned with that one. I've already mentioned special video on the 14th and that's all for now, and that's going to run, as I say, just until some series end. I've said on Ebay's Plays Games, I don't know what I'm going to do yet when series end. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to replace them with more episodes of a current series, you know, to get more series finished, or if I'm just going to leave like a little blank space in my schedule just to reduce short term. My, it's basically a, a debate between short term reducing my upload schedule and long-term reducing my, my upload schedule. That's, you know, that's that's the debate I'm having, basically. So, we'll move on now to WWE Baser, last but not least. And uh, it's basically WWE 2K18 Let's Plat um, until it finishes. I'm having a real hard time with it at the moment. At the time of recording, I don't have... I, I've spent, like, over six hours trying to do um, the next episode because uh, it's a really, really... 
I'd say it's challenging, but it's just impossible um, bit of the game. So I don't know when the next episode will come out, because obviously I have to actually succeed first. So I don't know when the next episode will be. Um, but that's going to be essentially every day, except uh, except exceptions, <laughs> for want of a better way of wording it. And exceptions will include things such as... So what I'll do is... I'll, I'll just fill in some examples for February, but obviously March forwards, you'll just have to keep up with when I'm doing things. Um, it'll make sense to you. On the day of a pay-per-view, a WWE or AEW or NXT, I'm hoping at some point to start doing this with uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling as well. On the day of their pay-per-view, uh, the... See, New Japan, I'll cover separately, uh, but the American companies, WWE, NXT, and AEW, on the day of their pay-per-view, I'll be doing a predictions video for the pay-per-view, because I upload at 8pm British time, um, UK time, and the pay-per-view doesn't usually start until midnight or 1 o'clock UK time, so there's a, there's a good bit of time for people to get it watched. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you think maybe I should do it the day before, I don't know, um, open to thoughts on that, really, but... Um, yeah, so I'll be doing that. Then, uh, let me have a think what else I'll be covering. Oh, New Japan. There is a, actually a show on either yesterday and today or today and tomorrow, depending on when this gets uploaded. Uh, I'm definitely not doing predictions for that. Obviously, it's basically already happened. Uh, but I'll be doing a review for that show just as a one-off, even though the, the schedules all start on the 8th for all three channels. I'm still going to do a review for this show because I really want to get into my Japan. I think if I talk it through, it'll make more sense to me. Um, so, yeah. But then going forward, I'm not sure about predictions because the timing, time of day, it'd have to be the day before the show for it to go up at 8pm. Otherwise, I'd be uploading predictions after the show had happened, which doesn't make much sense. Um, the review will still be the day after because I just simply don't have enough time between the show airing and 8pm the same day to record, edit, render, and upload the review and sleep because I work nights. So I have to sleep during the day. Uh, so I just don't have enough time to do that, basically. So um, so it'll be the day after that I do the review. Uh, or that I upload the review, I should say. Uh, what else? Oh, occasionally I'll do things like happy birthday videos. If, it, if it's someone's significant birthday, you know, I'm not going to do every single birthday. I've got a plan for birthdays uh, in the future, do wrestlers' birthdays. But at the moment, I won't be celebrating like someone's 31st birthday, someone's 36th birthday. But if someone's turning 40 or a retired wrestler's turning 70 or, you know, a big number like that, I'll celebrate those uh, with a special video on the channel. Um, and occasionally, again, anniversary videos like, but again, it's got to be at the moment nice round numbers. So video uh, shows that happened 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years ago, um, I might either do a watch along or do something revolving around them. Um, so the, I, I think off the top of my head, the first video back actually on WWE Baser will be a happy birthday video uh, for Jim Neidhart. I believe it would have been his birthday, maybe his 60th or 65th. I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was. Um, but obviously I know I know he's, he's passed away, but it's still nice to honor what would have been his birthday. Um, then I know I've got an anniversary video video for uh, NXT Rival or our Rival or you know however you want to word that. But that's uh, the eleventh, I believe. Then I've got uh, what other? Oh, Elimination Chamber two thousand and ten. I'll be doing a video for that. That's the twenty first. Is the ten year anniversary of that show? It's Nakamura's birthday. I assume he's thirty five. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I like numbers that end in fives and zeros, so they're the sort of ones I celebrate usually. Um, I think that's the 24th of Feb. And then we're up to um, things like, oh, we've got a Super Showdown as well, the Saudi show. I know they're a point of contention, but I don't really want to be political on my channel. I don't really want to bring that to my channel and make that part of the atmosphere here. So I'm just going to cover it because it's a wrestling show and I like wrestling. So I'm just going to cover it, basically. There's, there's going to be no sort of... I, I just don't want to get into a big debate over whether it's a good thing or not. And I feel like ignoring it when I'm covering all other shows is more of a statement than just covering it without talking about the politics of the whole situation. So 
Um, yeah, I'll be covering that. The predictions video will be on the day before because it's on at a funny time. It's on in like the mi the middle of the afternoon for me, I believe. So it'll be at, the predictions will be up on the twenty sixth, and then but then the review will be on the twenty eighth. Same reason I haven't got time on the day to watch it, and record a review, edit it, render it, upload it before eight o'clock. Uh, and then on the twenty ninth, we have the predictions for AEW's. Revolution show, which takes place on the 29th. But again, because it's in America, I upload my predictions at 8, and the show goes on like 5 hours after my predictions. So that's fine. That's enough time for people to watch. Uh, and then on the 1st of March, I'll continue with the review of that show and so on and so forth. So in between all that is where 2K18 will go. Now, I really don't know how much of 2K18 I've got left to do. I've only got a couple of micro trophies, but 2K18 is just going to fill the month up until the point where it finishes where i've finished the game um and then i do have a plan for something to follow it that's already recorded and um, because i had to do it early basically so i've already recorded like a, a, an entire other series to come after um 2k18 but i'm not uploading it until 2k18's finished i really want to get that game polished off and if you really want to know the reason a it's because i'm getting impatient because i can't get the platinum because i missed the trophy because i took too long um, with the online trophies in the closer servers, but also my PS4 is full. Like I can't even update some of my games because my PS4 is so full. And 2K18, it seems to be the game I'm closest to finishing, and it's also like one of the more frequent ones I do. With the fact that it's every day, with exceptions on WB Baser, I just want to delete the game off my PS4. To be honest, and free up a bit of space. So yeah, that's that's my reasoning and that's my schedule. Oh, every day except exceptions. As I said, uh, an exception will be made on the 14th of February for a special video as well. I'm sure you can imagine it's going to be you know what the theme of the special video is going to be. Uh, so that pretty much concludes. All three channels, channel updates, schedules, or what have you. Um, I think, seeing as I've made the pictures, I'm going to upload the pictures to Instagram. Um, so if you want reminding, check out my Instagram and my other socials in the description. Leave a like if you're excited for the channels coming back. Uh, I, I greatly appreciate any support. Um, if, if this is your first video and you're still here... You obviously find me super interesting and uh, interesting what I do. So don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Don't share this with your friends. Share whatever your favorite series is on the channel. You know, what, what you enjoy by me. Share that with them, so, you know, and, and what they would enjoy. You know, if they're, a, if they're a wrestling fan, then, you know, send them some of my wrestling videos. You know, <laughs> you know that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, check out the description for the links to my social medias. In this case, especially my Instagram, if you want to see... A, a consistent picture of the schedule and be able to read it in your own time without having to pause the video. Um, other socials, it, the other channels are in the description. So is my Patreon. If you want to support me for just one US dollar per calendar month, I would greatly appreciate that. Whew. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.